crossings are now down 20% compared to last year. This is proof that our deterrent strategy can work. It was a bold claim. Just a month ago, the Prime Minister down in Dover insisting his Stop the Boats plan was working. But since then, a surge in small boat arrivals has exposed that claim to be at best premature. The latest arrivals at Dover Harbour come amid an improvement in weather conditions, which has seen more than 1,500 people brought here in just four days. In fact, the number of arrivals for the year so far has reached the 13,000 mark. That figure is the same as the 13,000 who crossed at this point last year. Maritime experts who know these waters well say the initial 20% reduction in crossings was purely down to bad weather and not government policy. Despite the clearly increasing numbers of channel migrants, the Home Secretary has reiterated her determination to stop the boats. Well, Prime Minister and I are absolutely clear we've got to stop the boats. That's why we're working very hard to introduce new legislation. Last year there were 45,000 people who arrived illegally. It's costing us £6 million a day in hotel accommodation. This has to stop. The surge in small boat arrivals is just the latest setback to the government's plans to tackle the channel migrant crisis. The Court of Appeal ruled the deal to send some of those arriving to Rwanda is unlawful. And in Parliament, the Lords are continuing to block the progress of the government's illegal migration bill. Weather conditions in the Channel are set to get choppy in the days ahead. But we're heading for the peak months where flat camp conditions will pave the way for thousands more to cross. And if those figures continue to increase beyond last year's totals, Rishi Sunak will face the prospect of failing to meet one of his government's key priorities. Mark White, GB News.